So, I'm Ben Wei. It's good to see you all here today. Believe it or not, I've been in business for 14 years, and I have been in technology for 17, and for those looking at me going, how old is he? Really, uh, it's, it, it re I am really 27, uh, even though I think uh, I sometimes don't look it. Um, during that time, uh, I've had some amazing experiences. Um, I have consulted to the White House in the United States um, in the previous administration. Uh, I won Young Entrepreneur of the Year in 2007, uh, 2000, sorry, not 2007, 2000, given to me by Gordon Brown. I have run numerous businesses, and I have made and lost millions of pounds. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about how I did it. So how did I start? Well, it all began when I was about seven years old. My teacher sat me down. She looked me in the eye. She told me, Ben, you're not going to make it. You never go read. You never go write. And you're basically not going to... You're a failure. Because I'm dyslexic. And she basically wrote me off. And from that moment, I knew I'd do something different with my life. I knew that I wasn't going to be like everyone else, and I'd fight against what she said. So, at nine years old, I was incredibly lucky to be given a laptop uh, by the local authority. Uh, this was back in the day where laptops uh, were, uh, were more like um, uh, 40-pound bags. I mean, it was, it was a, hell of a, a hell of a weight. Um, and basically just got very good at computers. And by the time I was about 13, 14, my parents' friends were ringing me up and going, you know, oh, my computer's crashed, can you come over and help? I was like, yeah, sure, you know. And I thought, well, you know, I'm giving out all this advice. Uh, why don't I start my own business? Uh, so on my 15th birthday, I started... Um, my first company, which was quite, um, quite a small business. It was just helping people out with their computers. I did my accounts and invoicing in between lessons. My teachers hated me. Um, and the business started to grow. And, uh, you know, I'm now 16. I've got premises and some people working for me. And a girl, for the, uh, for a girl at my school came to me and said, uh, well, you're doing something interesting. Would you mind if I wrote an article for, for the local newspaper? And I said, well, you know, if you think anybody would be interested, and this was well before the days of last minute or, or any of the dot-com entrepreneurs, and I said, yeah, yeah, sure, you know. So I wake up the next morning, I'm walking to school, and plastered all over the billboards is Ben Way's £60,000 a year computer business. And it had hit the front page of the local... local uh, local newspaper, and I was like, wow, you know, and, and from then on, everything changed, because one thing the media do is blow everything out of proportion, so I ended up doing Esther Ranson and Kilroy and The Big Breakfast, just all these, all these amazing things that I never thought I'd ever get to do, and my life would never be the same again, and then I was very lucky to do a Channel 4 documentary, this is now, how old am I, probably just you know, coming on, on to 17, and uh, did this documentary and was running this relatively small business. And after this documentary, Channel 4 documentary, they, uh, some investors rang me up and said, uh, we've got lots of money to spend. Have you got any good ideas? Now, just before you think this happens a lot, it doesn't really. I mean, that was the only time ever in my entire life an investor's rung me up. But they did, nonetheless, ring me up. And um, I said, yeah, come, go, oh, yeah, I've got great ideas, you know. So I um, got them over to, to my offices, and they sat down, and I told them my ideas, and I hadn't really even thought about investment before because I was running a profitable computer consultancy. What the Henry did I need investment for? Um, but I thought, you know, I'm one never to give up an opportunity, so I brought them over and, and so, so told, them their, told them my ideas, and they said, so you know, great ideas, how much do you need? I was like, oh, yeah, I haven't really thought this through, you know. I was there sitting there, you know, and I said, well, yeah, I thought I'd go for a nice round number. I said, um, you know, around £25 million should do it. 
And uh, they said, that's just the amount we want to invest. <laughs> that doesn't happen often either. Um, the, the funny thing was, though, inside it was like winning the lottery. But of course, I had to be that, you know, yeah, 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 25 million, very good, very good. So, um, yeah, it was, it was a, a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, experience. Uh, I can't deny that, and it doesn't happen often. But then, um, uh, we, we, uh, we, and that just, that just really does show you, and this is another thing uh, for the entrepreneurs out there, if you don't ask, you don't get. You know, you really got to go out there and, and, and get what you, what, what you want. So um, then the real hard work started. Uh, raising 25 million pounds, is, it, it was not as easy as just asking for it. We went through what I can only say is um, thousands of pages of, of legal documents and three months of uh, a lot of hard work. And I, from that, I uh, learned a hell of a lot about legals. And, and funnily enough, it was a Jersey company, so I learned a lot about Jersey law. Um, it taught me some really valuable lessons because the day we were supposed to sign, I was supposed to keep control of this company. I was supposed to have 51%, and that was what we did, the deal we did. Uh, we worked three months to do this deal. It came to the day of signing. They sat me down, and they said, we want control of the company. We want 51%. If you don't sign now, we're not doing the deal. So here I am, 17 years old, 25 million pounds on the table. What do I do? Well, I'm 17. I took the money, of course. <laughs> but that was just the start of the problems. And I have to say that um, it was a very difficult time. Me and my investors actually in that first company, because I, uh, unlike you guys who have these fantastic people to guide you through um, this maze which, which we call investment, I didn't have that and I made some big mistakes and actually uh, what happened was, um, uh, you know, they, they, really, they really took advantage of the fact that I was very young and didn't know what I was doing. When we, when we did the documents, and, and that was my own mistake, but, you know, I was 17. And it taught me two very important things, or one very important thing, which is legal documents only come out in two situations. One, when you're doing really, really well, and one, when you're doing really, really badly. And uh, things got pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty hard for, for a number of months and, and it taught me that um, it taught me another valuable lesson is that generally in legals it doesn't really matter what you've signed generally the people with the, dig uh, the, people with the deeper pockets generally find a way of, um, of, uh, of pushing their view through um, so here I am I'm 20 years old I've been diluted out of my company I have something like 0.000001% of it. I've lost my house, my car, all my money. I'm in the rich list under Robbie Williams the same day I couldn't buy a tube ticket. That's a bit embarrassing, to say the least. Um, and it was really hard. And, it, and I was, you know, I doubted myself. There was, you know, was it a fluke? was what I, I had spent my last seven years building up a complete flute. Maybe, you know, maybe uh, I'm not as good as I thought I was, or business isn't the right thing for me. And, you know, really, I, I know it's a cliche, but, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Having gone through that horrible period I went through after the investment ended and and everything went downhill. It, it made me a stronger person, and it taught me a huge number of lessons. And I, I honestly, I honestly wouldn't have changed anything about that period. Well, maybe I'd have asked for 35 million, but you know, one, one thing or another, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't have changed that period because it taught me about legals, it taught me about investment, and, and it really helped me grow as a person.